Hi there, it's the 3rd of May. Um, yesterday I said if the red bottom band holds, we're going to see a rally. This is the exact touch on that red bottom band. It came also very close to the green bottom band, as you can see here. They were they're almost like par they are parallel to each other anyway, right? That green, I mean the red, the red was top uh, call. What is a top call? If you look at yesterday's video, you will see the red bottom and if it holds, we're going to see a rally. That level was 5,036, so 37. We are now at, well, it got all the way to 115 from 37. That's a rally. Now the golden bull flag has formed and I think that golden bull flag is going to be broken very soon. And we're going to get to the purple resistance. I don't think the purple bottom man is going to get tested. That purple resistance is the last man standing from the highs of beginning of April. We're going to break that. We're going to break, we're going to get to the red top band and it, possibly we break that too. This is a bear flag. Okay. Very clear bear flag, but bear flags sometimes break to the upside, which make things extremely bullish. But the first is the purple resistance, which is at 5,170 or so. That's where it has to go. But I think the break of that golden bull flag is going to deliver that rally. On the SPX is the same, exactly the same story. That red bottom band held. Okay, that is as good as it gets. Um, yeah, it, it felt short on maybe one point on the SPX. The golden resistance, will in two, three, four. Today it's going to be broken, I think, and we're gonna see a rally to that purple resistance at 5,160, 150. At that breakout, I think that red top band will be taken out too. I'm still leaning very bullish here, as long as this green huge uptrend stays intact. And clearly break off that purple resistance is going to deliver a new all time high. Dow Jones broke that red resistance. It didn't come back, come down to the red bottom band. It has broken the red resistance. So do we have maybe another kind of a bull flag here? Right. That one is also gone now. It's almost being cleared now. So it is, let's say in the blue. And you can see here that blue bottom band, blue top band kind of held a little bit, but it's about to be broken. And DAX uh, cash had broken the red resistance. One, two, three, four, five. This is what I said. And now the blue top band is going to be broken too. Maybe I was, you know, I'm still, so maybe we'll see a back test on the red. Okay, that red broken resistance and the rally to break out of the blue bull flag. Okay, that would be a nice level to buy at uh, 38,230 or so for the cash. And uh, then we'll see the rally continue. NASDAQ has uh, also bounced. It didn't come down to that green bottom band. So if we look at this green channel in another way, do we have, no, not really. No, that's, it wouldn't happen. It has already been, no, that wouldn't work. Okay, so it's still this potential uptrend that we have. It didn't get tested at the green bottom band. Either way, it's now trying to break that blue resistance. One, two, three, four, five. You can see it's now forcing it for a break. Um, that green, sorry, blue resistance was broken, back tested, and then broken, back tested. So that's support. Obviously, the blue one is not a channel, really. I wouldn't call this a channel or something. It is kind of an, you know, the, the standalone resistance and we have this one as well. So can we move that one actually? That blue resistance is about to be broken. And if it does, then we're going to get to above, above 18,000, probably all the way to the back test of the red broken support. And of course that purple resistance has to be broken too. 
on the Nasdaq cash, we have the green uptrend that has been perfect. So you can see the bottom band bounce, perfect bounce. We back test the blue. Now I think is going to run to break. If we look at the same, exactly the same line, okay, that blue resistance is breaking. And I think we're going to get to that uh, red broken support at 18,000. The back test of it is going to be at 18,000. And after that, if we break through these, these, these resistance cluster, yeah, then we can move on to uh, a new all time high. Russell is off the blue bottom band. It's now broken that green resistance. Now it's going to get to the blue top band, I believe, and then it will start to rally. So if it gets to the blue top band, maybe pull back and then a break to the upside is going to look very bullish and it actually makes a buy signal if it can break that blue top band. FTSE had already broken that red major resistance at 8,050. Now it's just making new highs, right? This is now new all-time highs um, that touched it this morning. And you can see here, that's now, it back tested the blue broken resistance. Now the green top band is about to be broken. I think this is gonna be a bro broken and we're gonna see a big rally towards 9,000 and DAX, has uh had broken the green resistance now is it going to come down to the red bottom band or even fill the gap highly unlikely um i wouldn't say it's it's impossible because this is kind of a choppy period now here for dax maybe like uh like es like nasdaq it's going to come down and break it come to the red and then fill the gap at 17,000, 17,725 or so. We fill the gap and that actually would make it a buy signal, but I wouldn't keep my hopes high on that gap fill, okay? TLT, TLT is rallying off the golden bottom band. Now the red, sorry, the blue top band is potential resistance. We may see a pullback and then rally. The 10 year note is already, you can see here, it's already uh, off the blue bottom band. I mentioned about the red resistance here. I removed it because it didn't hold, which is a good sign, which is a good sign. And I think ultimately we're gonna get to the blue top band, maybe pull back one more time and then a break to the upside is going to start the next leg up for bonds and the rates are gonna keep falling. Now, now, US oil, so US oil broke down the red bottom band, okay? But we still have this blue support rail. So I'm gonna put it as a rail, okay? That held at the low of yesterday. Not only that, the green bottom band, even though it wasn't really a test, it held. So the green bottom band hasn't been broken and it's bouncing off the blue support rail and the purple downtrend, what you can see here, beautiful steep downtrend is now broken. So it's breaking. So I'm thinking today is going to be positive. Maybe we're going to back test the 80, 81 level, the red support. Yeah, the break off that red support and then continue to come down to break that blue support rail. So that's the break off that blue support is going to look very, very bearish, obviously. Uh, so that remains to be seen. All right. Um, we have Brent oil that has also broken down. So this here is a quite an important support break. But not only that, the red support, the red bear flag is now gone too, which is why I'm turning bearish on oil here maybe back test and then come down if it wants to really really come down that support rail is the blue one which is at 75 we are at 84 so that's another nine dollars or so drop on brent oil and yeah that remains to be seen really this looks bearish to me 
natural gas is now coming closer to that purple top band one more time. Is it going to reverse again? And the level is going to be 2100. Okay. And 2100 is also that blue resistance on the July contract or June contract for Nat gas. You can see here, that's the 2100 on the blue. So 2100 is a very critical resistance for natural gas, uh, July contract, June contract. Okay. Uh, NGM4 June contract. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's have a look at gold. Now gold it had back tested the red broken support and the purple resistance at the same time. It's still underneath, like this is still sub uh, the purple, um, under the purple resistance. So is it going to come down, bounce off the purple and break out? Or is it going to come down all the way to the blue, sorry, green plus red and then rally? That's the big question. I don't think it's going to drop more, much below 2260, okay? Because that is going to be the red plus green double support and rally. But of course, it may come down to the purple and then rally too. The purple support is at 2277, okay? So that's the, I think that's where it's going to bounce or it's going to bounce, bounce 2260 2265 and then rally. Either way, I think gold is consolidating, uh, but it's and it's getting ready. As soon as the break off, uh, it can break that purple resistance. I think we're going to see the rally uh, keep, continue. Uh, silver hopefully is going to bounce, is going to touch that 25 to 40, and then rally to break out of the green bull flag. Okay, this is what I'm expecting. Uh, and platinum is off the green support. You can see the golden resistance was broken and platinum is showing relative strength, okay, relative to the big brothers. Um, so is it going to keep going? So that, that here, this green support rail has to be holding. As long as it holds, there may be uh, the, mo the continuation of this, of this rally all the way to the 1040 level, which is that blue top band. Okay, so 1040, yes, it's not very close to us in a way, but in the long term picture, around 1040, 45, we're going to hit that blue resistance. Um, let's have a look at um, copper. Copper is now inside this golden support zone. And it's coming closer to the blue bottom band. If it does hold, we rally to uh, the 500, 495, 500 level. Okay. Palladium, I'm not sure what it's trying to do. Look at this. Palladium is a, is a cursed one. It really is cursed. I, I have nothing to say but negative on palladium. Look at this. There is no hope for palladium whatsoever. Uh, so euro is now moving higher. The, the, the first attempt was broken um, here, but then it rallied uh, with the FOMC, came down to erase the FOMC gains. Now it's doing what it's supposed to do. I think it is going to break that blue resistance. So I'm gonna remove the red, okay? And ultimately, we're going to break that blue resistance. It's getting there. The golden one is broken. So there is no need, there's no reason why it can't break the blue as well. And it's going to start to recovery all the way to that red uh, spike. So this, this spike down, I think, is going to be gained back. The, the, the target is 108.50, 108.60. Pound sterling is exactly the same. <coughs> Excuse me. It's still back testing the red resistance. Uh, so, is it going to be able to break that blue resistance rail? It cleared the golden one. You can see one, two, three. It's broken the golden support. So, this is kind of a triangle that is breaking to the upside. Um, if, pound, if pound sterling can 
break uh, 12575, I think it's going to start to run uh, to 127. So that's another 125 pips to go. US dollar Japanese yen, uh, I captured the massive reversal at 160. That was the target of the red uptrend. And I said, UJ is not going to go beyond and it's actually break down. It's going to break down the blue channel. And that's exactly what we're seeing. It, it has broken down that blue support, the blue channel. So the obvious target is going to be 150. So, but maybe we're going to see a back test at some point on the blue and that would make it a short entry to come down and basically so let's let's see on the short term okay do we have a support coming soon and uh let's see this could be the next support for a bounce right that you know if we look at it in a green color right this was the breakout we may get a back test on that one which is going to be around 150 to 25 or maybe just slightly below it and then bounce maybe or the bounce at some point i'm expecting this spike down this fomc spike down to be recovered so this green support may hold we rally to 157 okay 157.50 and then come down that would be a nice short um short entry yeah, DXY, finally, the red channel is broken, even though the, you can see the blue bull flag was broken down, but this is FOMC, brought it down. The red channel is now broken. Uh, the green support is now broken. The final one standing is this blue support. If this blue one breaks, then this one is going to be broken to the downside, and we're going to see more downside coming up. Aussie dollar is making new highs. The target has been 66, uh, or actually the green top band, and we're almost there. And then we'll see whether this green channel can be broken to the upside, or we're going to see it one more come downwards move. Okay, that is the, the question. And Kiwi has broken the red downtrend. Look at this beauty. It is now broken, which is why Kiwi is going to get to the green top band from here. Possibly after a while it will break out and then Kiwi is going to start the break rally. But I think the green top band is not going to be broken very, very quickly. Let's have a look at agriculture's good news on most of them. So coffee is coming closer to that uh, 197 level, which is where we can buy it. Yeah, hopefully 197. Wheat is off the blue support one two three touches i think that red line may be ignored i mean if it gets there hopefully it will be ignored or at least you know we may yeah we may see a reversal because it's going to come at the blue top band on the continuous chart okay the pre this one is the june contract excuse me july zwn zwn July contract, yeah, uh, that red top band is coming at 635 or so, and the continuous contract, the blue top band is at 640. So between 635 and 640, we may see a pullback starting. Look at soybeans. I gave you this one and I said, this is gonna run and here we are it's off it's broken the blue resistance and now it's moving and the july contract look at this beauty as well the red channel was broken and back tested twice now the blue resistance is gone look at this one two three four and now it's broken that's why soybeans um i said the this is the back test. I said the buy the breakout, and we are now we have now broken out. Obviously, a back test would be an even better break uh, buying signal, but that back test may never come. Um, on corn, it didn't. Look at this corn. 
is now moving six four sixty four. This is now, and the reason is the blue channel breakout, the blue bull flags breakout. So many times I've said this is now it's going to break and run, and here we are. Uh, corn is rallying, and is it going to get the minimum target for corn now? So on the July contract is this, okay? So I'm going to put it in golden color, right? Uh, this is the, the, the level to basically take, uh, yeah, if it gets to that level, 472. This is uh, Cocoa um, Blue Support Broken. This is the Cocoa July contract, so Cocoa. No, um, I'm now going to do CCC, no, CCC1. Right, this is our original one. This is the continuous contract. It has now broken down that golden support or golden broken resistance back in. So this is a big, big, big uh, red. Obviously, most of it is because of the contract rollover. And ultimately, this is going to start in the next leg up. That This sort of strength doesn't just die off. but um, it could come down to this red bottom band. I'm going to be putting it on the purple, right? So this is where it started, that that low started. So the purple bottom band may be the next potential support. Sugar, as uh, you know, it's, it's still targeting 18, I believe, July contract had broken and back to the purple, golden bear flag and the red. So if this blue resistance holds, then we'll, we shall see more downside uh, towards 18. And then we'll see what happens. Okay, and finally cotton has, no, cotton is dumping again. So there is no hope for cotton. It has been a Mm, very big disappointment after the break of the blue resistance, after the break of this bull flag, everything failed on cotton. I've, yeah, my my lines didn't deliver anything on this one, really. I thought that it was a huge break to the upside, but no, the lines were not really very good on this one, I must admit, um, because especially the bull flag, this bull flag was broken. And but then it broke back in. That's why. So that's there is no excuse. This is this hasn't really worked out. It is what it is. All right. Now we have Bitcoin back testing the black bro failed bull flag. Okay. You can see it's back testing the failed bull flag. And I think there's gonna be more downside. And if we look at this channel so i'm going to now put it there or potential channel if this red top band holds especially so if it moves down touches the red then we come down towards 55 800 or so that will be the blue bottom band touch okay so that's going to be a very critical one if and when it gets tested okay so maybe just a second, bear with me, please. I'm going to put a single line, a very accurate single line. Yeah, that blue channel, right? And we put it on extend. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the one. Okay, so this blue channel would be, uh, it's not, as I said, the, the first touches has happened back in like last year. So I, it's not my favorite type of channel, but the green channel is broken. And so if the blue one gets tested at 50, what is it? 50, yeah, 55, 800, 50, maybe 56,000, somewhere there, we bounce and then broken. If it breaks, then all the way to the golden plus red double support, um, 
it still may happen. It can it may still happen by 12th of May if it drops very quickly. Ethereum is also bearish because of the blue broken support. So that looks very bearish to me. Um, are they trying to break out of the red bull flag? Okay, maybe come back down and then break. ACH, not really the best the best looking, but it's it's actually looking better than the others because of the golden bull flag breakout. Ada trying to run uh, out of the black bull flag. Ata, yeah, not really, not much. Audio, not much. Avax, yeah, it's uh, testing the golden support. It has tested the golden support. Now it really has to start to run and break out of the red for good one more time but so far it hasn't really worked out really well so it shall we include the previous highs on this one i may even argue that the red channel is actually this one here so it hasn't really broken the red so if you look at it this way and put the red bottom band there yeah, this year. Okay. And we had some break of sorts. Yeah. That's that may still be a very large bull flag formation on AVAX. BMX, the blue channel is still on. The blue support is still holding. Chili's has to break that green top band at 15, 16 cents. CKB has broken down, so maybe you're gonna see a back test uh, at the golden broken resistance. Uh, Koti, still no, no real move, okay? You can see here, Koti is still not really moving, but if it does and break that black resistance, then I think Koti is gonna run. Data has to break that golden resistance. Dogecoin has to stay inside the red bull flag, which it still is doing. Uh, Polkadot uh, has broken the red resistance, so it should run without breaking that golden support. So Polkadot seems a little bit better than the others. DYX has to break that blue resistance. I think I'm going to remove ENJ from our picture. Flare, not much. FTM, not much. Yeah, this is still looking not so good. GRT is off the red support again and bounce again. Uh, Hive off the blue support, but it still has to break out. Not, not real push. Jasmine coming closer to that green bottom band to form a bull flag. Uh, Cass looking very bad, obviously. Uh, chain link, not not really the best. So, do we have a kind of a downtrend here? I think we do. Mm, yes, maybe we do. So, I'm going to put this one here. Right. If you look at it this way, this is a bull flag in the making. So, the ideal scenario is that it comes down to the golden and then breaks out, but maybe it won't even get there. Uh, Mana looking not too bad, but it's not looking good either. Matik trying that blue, that red resistance now because it's also bounced off the blue support. So Matik may start a rally soon. OM um, has broken that green support. Pal not really looking very good. Pepe is the best because of the break out of the red bull flag. Uh, PYR, no real push. As you can see here, it hasn't really back tested and bounced off the back test of the blue and golden, uh, which is bad, of course. Render is trying to stay above that green support. RSR, uh, kind of holding and bouncing off the golden support. Sandbox, still okay. Um, and uh, Shiba, no, as you can see, there is no real push by anyone. 
Well, Solana is inside the green bull flag, and I think ultimately that is going to be broken and Solana is going to keep on running. Uh, Tia, Tia has to break that green resistance at 11 plus. So uh, Tezos inside the red bull flag. Finally, Zcash, not real push so far. But if it can break 24, 25, then I think it's going to start to run towards 45, 50. All right, guys, take care. Keep in touch. Bye.